What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here. And in this video, I wanna talk about uh, Iron Fist uh, season two. Okay, so before I get started, just take a second to like my video, uh, subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, why am I making a, a, a video about Iron Fist season two? Well, it's cause it's, uh, you know, Iron Fist, I was actually a fan when I was younger. Uh, you know, Iron Fist and uh, Luke Cage, right? And it was a pretty cool comic. So when it uh, when Netflix decided to make um, the the series, right? I was really excited. You know, martial arts and everything. Iron Fist. It's like I'm like, yeah, this this is gonna be good. You know. And the first season sucked. Okay, it sucked because um, well, the martial arts like uh, the Iron Fist is supposed to be a martial arts master. And when you look at like what he did in in, in the series, it, it it sucked. It really sucked. It was it was garbage, man. You know. So okay, whatever. You know, there was a lot of criticism. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't agree with the criticism that Iron Fist should be an Asian dude. That I don't know. Like he was white in in the comic book. So whatever. You know. But my main complaint was the action really sucked. I watched the whole season one. All right, and the action was you know subpar compared to. Um, a lot of uh, other martial arts series and movies and stuff like that. So, yeah, the second the second season came out recently, and uh, I started watching it, and I didn't even finish the first episode. And I said, you know what? I got better fucking shit to do than this. This is garbage once again. Um, and I just wanna I'll put a link down below and to to a movie called Flashpoint. Okay, it's it's uh, the link that I'm gonna put. It's just highlights of the movie Flashpoint, uh, which stars Donnie Yen. And um, in this movie, Donnie Yen, you know, he's a cop and he fights off bad guys and shit. But he's he uses a lot of like MMA, boxing, jujitsu, judo, oh, and the action and the choreography is fucking amazing. Okay, so I think that that um, Iron Fist has something to learn. Um, you know. Uh, if they were to like the directors and the choreographers watch this movie and, and and they would see like what real action looks like not only is in the movie uh, Flashpoint with Donnie Yen the action scenes are realistic well realistic I mean to a certain extent but I mean those are actual moves those are actual techniques that are being used in uh, the MMA world you know uh, but also the, the way they film it, the choreography. Like, I'm not a pro or anything, but fuck, it looks good, man. It looks fucking good. And then if you go watch those, uh, that, that highlight that I'm going to put down uh, below, okay? And then you compare it to, like, the fight scenes in, in, uh, in Iron Fist uh, Season 2 or even Season 1. But Season 2 should have been better, right? Because there was so much criticism about, about how the, uh, the choreography and the martial arts suck. Uh, you know, there was, you know, like, okay, uh, you know, Finn Jones isn't a martial artist, the guy who plays Iron Fist, but whatever, you know, like, e even if you kind of suck in martial arts, you should make an effort to train. I'm sure he did. He didn't have much time to prepare for the first one, but the second one was no excuse. But also the way they, they, they film it, the, choreo the choreography fucking sucked balls also. So... That was for the first one, and then the second one, same thing. Like, man, I can't buy into this fucking character, man. He he just sucks. Like, I I could do better than this motherfucker. That's how bad it is, you know. And uh, like, I, it's just not you know realistic. It's not like the techniques are like yeah garbage. The way it's filmed, it's garbage. Like, you don't feel uh, the the intensity, the savagery, like the realism of of you know of you know actual combat or you know like okay it can't be 100 percent real because then it would be fucking boring because you know real action in, in uh in real life isn't as exciting right but at least film it and use techniques and i don't know speed up the damn uh the damn sequence so that it looks you know powerful and fast and like there's actually somebody getting hurt and and shit like that right so um I, i'm disappointed you know, and I, I, I told myself, fuck it, I'm not going to watch this. What I did go watch instead was uh, Daredevil uh, season, was it season two, season three, uh, whatever, season two. And once again, the action is, is not that good in this one, but I find that the story is a little bit better. 
and also you have Kingpin and and the Kingpin is, is, is fucking amazing. He's fun to watch, you know? And but the, the the other villain who turns out to be oh spoiler alert guys uh you know for for guys who go watch it first before you you know finish watching my video here if you don't want me to like fuck it up for you uh for daredevil uh was it season two okay so uh the 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 guy who um who, who who's who's an extra villain in the movie because you have kingpin but then you have the other guy right and the other guy is fucking amazing. His face, man, it's intense. And you could you could believe that this guy would kill a motherfucker, you know, or wants to kill a motherfucker. So, you know, uh, so, so that's what made it really fun. And of course, this uh, this extra character, he had like really good. Um, uh, he's basically like an ex-military who was in the FBI. He got recruited. He kingpin managed to recruit him, and like he. He's fucking super good at um, at throwing things and just like throwing knives or whatever he could get his hands on. He throws it and then he kills the fucker. But you know, already when you hear that, you're like, okay. And and in in the Daredevil series, right, in the comic books, you have what's his name? Uh, um, and even in the in the movie they made with Ben Affleck, you have uh, Bullseye. So this guy eventually turns into Bullseye, like at the end of the movie, right? I won't uh, keep. Uh, I won't keep going on about the, the story itself, but uh, just to say that Daredevil was a better um, better usage of my time to entertain myself than, than Iron Fist. Iron Fist, I watched the first one. Fuck this shit, he's not even like, he's supposed to be a Kung Fu master and, and, and the scenes are like fucking bullshit. I think these guys uh, who, 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 uh, who, who wrote and did the fight choreography and all that, they should at least take a look at uh, Flashpoint with Donnie Yen. Uh, really to see like this is how you're supposed to make a martial arts movie or fighting sequence or choreography Not what you guys are doing here. It's so fucking it's like it's retarded. I don't even want to watch it because it's such a disappointment uh, And I don't think it's it's the actor's fault. I think it's just everybody around him. So Yeah, you know, it is what it is uh, What was I gonna say so daredevil I watched because well it was it was entertaining because you had kingpin and you had the uh, the bullseye guy there Which was really cool. He's intense man. He's fucking intense. He looks fucking crazy as fuck too, you know, so that was really cool and I remember watching Just thought a side note when I watched the first uh, season of I think it was the first or second season But anyways when the punt of daredevil and when there when when the punisher showed up that was what made, like Daredevil was all right. The story was, you know, like going along pretty well. Okay, you just, you know, you just keep watching it. And it, it's, it, it brings you back. But as soon as Punisher showed up, holy fuck, that, that's when it went off, you know? Like that's when I was fucking hooked because the Punisher, well, he's the Punisher. And they chose like the actor who plays him. Uh, I think it's Josh Bartel, you know, the guy from Walking Dead. And oh, fuck, he's fucking amazing, man. He's intense. He has this face. And he looks like, like a real Punisher, you know, pissed off and shit and, and crazy, kind of ugly and, uh, you know, but not that ugly, but you know, whatever. And, uh, and he, he really like, you can feel the violence and the anger and it's, it's, there's realism in it, you know, it's intense. So uh, that's why I sticked around with Daredevil and when it came back, um, you know, uh, Punisher wasn't there anymore, but you know, you still had Kingpin and when they added that new guy there, like uh, uh, in, in the series, his name is Point Dexter. <laughs> Funny name, but whatever. Point Dexter, who eventually becomes uh, um, what's his name, Bullseye. But he's fucking intense. I mean, just for him, it's worth watching. Just for him, really. Like you kind of forget about fucking Daredevil, and Daredevil's cool and all that. But I mean, you kind of just root for for fucking Point Dexter. Uh, so, all right, this video is. Uh, this rant about like Iron Fist went a little bit too long and I went off a little bit on a tangent So sorry about that, but all that to say that if you guys want to be uh, Entertained fuck Iron Fist season 2 uh, Yeah, and go straight to Daredevil season 3 I think I think it's season 3 but the latest one. Okay, so that's it guys uh, Please like comment subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video Peace